talk about the IPA electric brake force meter with load simulation. I have a truck here, 2013 GMC Sierra. I've been towing my trailer for a little while here, but I've suspected some issues with my integrated brake controller. The only tool I've had was this also IPA, uh, just a little plug-in angel looking thing. You plug it into the back, it tells you what circuits come on. Problem is, it doesn't simulate a brake load. So I can't really work on the electric brakes, I can't tell anything about them. I hooked up a couple trailer brakes to the plug, but all that was telling me is that they were connected to the truck, it wasn't telling me what my output was. So, in comes this tool. I've got the wire already strung. It comes with a 25 foot cable. So what we'll try to do here is talk about how this works and we'll see what the output is. If you're familiar with integrated brake controllers, this is a telltale sign if you're not familiar with them. Slide bar, plus minus setup. If you look on the dash here, you can see zero output. Put my foot on the brake. It's basically giving me no output. So when I connect this tool, let's see what happens. You see the light is blinking. Several things are going on. It says trailer connected. Okay, that's a good sign. Uh, I wasn't getting that with the other tool just to start with. ECU detected. That's telling me that this tester, which has a microprocessor in it, is connecting to the truck's computer. So I know the truck's computer is sending out a proper signal, so we have a good connection. Uh, the power light is flickering. That tells me, actually explains a little bit of what I was seeing. When I hooked up my voltmeter to the back, I was getting a little bit of a flicker. I'm not, still not sure if there's something wrong with the truck or if that's what it's supposed to do, but I'm getting that display here. So let's see what happens when I put my foot on the brake. I'm gonna adjust the gain to 10, put my foot on the brake. You see the blue LEDs, okay? They go all the way to 10. Let my foot off the brake a little bit. Back on. A little bit of a delay, because my foot's on the floor. But you can see it's, okay, at least I know the tool's working, the truck is putting out, everything looks good. I want to do a little bit of an experiment here. So, <clears throat> I've got everything set up to 10. I'm gonna back it off to, let's go, back, let's go right down to six. All right, so you can see the truck screen says six. And I'm here at about seven. Go click down to five and a half, it's showing six. So I'm within a half point, it looks like. Now it seems to be matching up identically. Yeah, so it basically rounds up to the next number. So we're pretty close there. Now one thing I wanted to try was the reaction time. Because if I put my foot on the brake and you watch on the vehicle screen, it goes up almost instantaneously, right? But now let's watch it with the tool. So I'll, t I'll yell out when my foot hits the floor. Foot on the floor. That's set up all the way. You can see the delay. So the truck is telling me when I take the trailer down the road that I'm getting instantaneous power. There's actually this latent delay, which kind of explains a lot. It didn't feel like my brakes were grabbing right away. So that's interesting. Um, I don't know if it changes when I go down the road. I might actually run this through the window because I've got the cord, take it down the road and see if it changes with speed. I'm not going to try to videotape that while I do it, but uh, maybe that'll be a video for a future time. But so far, so good. I'm impressed with the tool. Uh, it does what it says. I understand a lot more about the truck, and uh, we'll see what it works. See how it works when I drive. This is the IPA 9107 brake force meter. And uh, oh, by the way, one thing: when you use this, make sure the vehicle is running before you plug the tool in. Follow the directions. It does make a difference.